Guys, Deganga here. So SB140. This is the same bike I rode yesterday for the first time. I've got Tal Covered, aka TC, from the Facebook group. Uh, just want to give get his first impression of riding this bike for the first time. Yeah. So uh, coming from a 2017 4.5, um, it I believe that this 140 climbs a lot better. I just feel more centered over the bike. Uh, going up some of the steeper inclines, the 4.5 tends to lift in the front because the way I'm centered on this bike and the seat angle at a 77 degrees sits me right over the center. Uh, it tracks amazingly well going up. Uh, what I really like about it is that I'm, since I'm used to a 29er, these 27 and a half wheels, they seem to just steer more precisely and I really like the confidence that, on the climbing. I'm eager as hell to take this thing downhill so we'll let you know if I survive past that one. There you go, so stay tuned. So, cool day. We got TC here. See, I remember TC. <laughs> On a SB140, large, first time out. And I have the SB165, my second time out on this, um, large. So still, I ride an extra large. Um, but the good thing about this time, I have a spring that's closer to my rider weight. Uh, it's a 525 pound spring. And I'm supposed to be on 550. Um, so I was on that yesterday. And I'll just comment about how this bike does on the same trail I did yesterday on this bike. So you ready? All right, let's have a good ride. Right off the bat, 165 is much plusher than the 140, but you can see just as playful still likes to pop off stuff just not as sporty of a feel but more Cadillac feel versus Porsche if that makes sense again using Yeti's website settings Oh, butter with the coil. Oh, you don't know how good coil is until you get on it. That's that blown out section from yesterday. I'm gonna wait up for Todd. He hasn't been here that much, but man, plush. A little less efficient, I would say, than the 140. But that coil coming off that big jump drop is plush. So, yeah, think Cadillac versus Porsche. Coil feels so good. Control. Traction. This thing's a beast. Stable. Here comes a chunky kind of fast section.
This bike is maneuverable for as big as it is. Wait for Todd again, but man, this thing's controlled. Coil is amazing. Finish the first half of the trail. Actually, you might want to get off the trail in case somebody flies by. But okay, your impressions, first impressions on real on your first run. This thing rocks, man. PC is not a flyer. This thing makes you want to jump. It's flickable in the air. It can change in the middle of a turn. It does it's got the same kind of platform of the four or five in terms of suspension feel. Yeah, so it's, I think it's that mid-stroke. Exactly. Is, is is supportive, but then it, it, it feels it really compresses uh, hard. It, I I wouldn't say in my opinion it doesn't compress hard. It just it's feels endless it's not limitless limit you yes uh, but what i do love about it is i'm not a jumper but if i have in a bad line i can change the line quickly i took a couple of those jumps larger than i ever think i would have uh it nice very comfortable in the air nice uh, it, it, it inspires confidence your in your suspension settings these are straight from the yeti site and if you look at your uh sag indicators you're right there oh, where you need to the be funny thing is is i just realized it I didn't even write that down open. Oh, okay, okay. In the pedal mode, but I'm okay. telling you that was All right. spectacular. Okay, so you guys heard my comments coming down on this coil. I'm in love with this thing. <laughs> um, but anyways, we're going to finish up the second half of the trail, and uh, we'll talk about it more. You ready? So up here, there's a line. You'll see a jump to the left, which is a gap sender. Yep. The, e the B line is on the right. I'm going to go B line. I, re I remember that. Okay. Rear end still real controlled. And that's uh, first run done. First run done. Oh, that was fun. <laughs>